all quirk types that exist in my hero academia hey guys in this post i'll be discussing all quirk types that exist in my hero academia because it takes place in a world where superpowers are one of the most normal things of all my hero academia has a very wide variety of these powers also called quirks in its history that said let's get started emitter animal king this category is also called operative, as it means that its bearer has to activate its power in some way, without necessarily changing the physical structure of its body for that. This is probably the category that most encompasses people with powers in the world. This type of quirk mainly involves users with powers that release and control some substance, like Todoroki's fire and ice. But it also covers users with quirks that cause some effect on their enemies, which is the case of Aizawa's quirk and Shinzo's brainwashing. In some cases, users with emitter quirks can even alter the properties of things around them on a molecular level, as is the case with Juzo's softening, which turns solid objects into semi-liquids, and Shigaraki's decaying, who disintegrates everything he touches. Transformation Anim Salking this category is also called composite, since many times, transformations lead its bearer to assume similar appearances to people belonging to the mutant category. The difference is that, in the case of quirks of the transformation type, the body of its wielder drastically changes because of its own power. In short, transformation type people can completely alter their body temporarily. A good example of this is the heroine Ryukyu with her ability to transform into a dragon. Sometimes, the transformation does not necessarily alter the user's entire body, but only improves some existing physical aspect of the person, as is the case with Kirishima and Tetsu Tetsu, who make their bodies more resistant by minimally altering their appearance. Mutant Anim King This category involves all people whose appearance has been altered thanks to superhero genes and who also have their individualities directly linked to their different appearance. Precisely because it is part of the user's body, people with this type of quirk do not need to activate their power, as this is just an extension of their own bodies. If Eraser Head used its erasing power on someone with mutant type power, like Ajui Tsuyu, for example, the girl would only lose her frog abilities, but her amphibious appearance would remain. Just to cite one more example, this case would also be exactly the same for Mizo Shoji. Accumulation Quirk Types The accumulation is not exactly a category of quirks, but rather a subcategory, which can encompass both emission, transformation, or mutant powers. Basically, quirks with this condition require its wielder to accumulate something in order for it to be activated or used optimally. The best example of such a power is One for All. In its first owner, the One for All was a practically useless individuality, but as it was passed on by its heirs, the power was cultivating the strength and individualities of each one, that is, accumulating. Thus, its current wielder, Deku, is only so powerful thanks to the accumulation generated by Quirk. Awakening Quirk Types this is also a subcategory of quirks, and encompasses any kind of power that suddenly surges to its wielder or undergoes a drastic improvement in a short period of time. Tamura Shigaraki is an example of someone who has experienced both types of awakening. His powers suddenly appeared when he was a child, which caused him to disintegrate his entire family. Years in the future, after facing Redestro and Gigantomachia, his quirk underwent a new awakening, and he became capable of deteriorating an entire city just by touching the ground with his hands. Deku also underwent an awakening with one for all just as the ancient wielder's powers began to emerge. That is it from today's video. If you do not agree with this video and have some of your own opinions, share them with us in the comments section down below. Keep visiting Voice of America for more videos about anime. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.